let's try a different example let me change uh, my function to be a function to add so this guy will return 3 plus 4 every time I call this method he will return 3 plus 4 is 7 so he will be returning 7 okay so if I say add versus add I want to write both to console the difference between these two line is just the, the, the parenthesis it's just the parenthesis so let's see what happens so the first one returns a 7 it runs this code and gives me the answer and that's what's returned the next one just returns the entire function so you have to make sure when you are invoking a function that you are using the parenthesis around it's very important okay so let's write some function so you we just looked at I think I deleted some lines. Okay, so we just looked at what is the function definition and what is the function invocation. Okay, so we did a little add. Let's try a function. This function is going to compare two numbers and say which one is greater. Okay, so I want, it's very limiting if I write a function for every two number I want to do. So like for example, I have a number called 3, I have a number called 4. I say if x greater than y, return x is greater else if x equal to y return x and y are equal else return y is greater so really simple silly function right so what's happening here is that if i would write this function to only work for three and four that's silly right it's a waste of resources uh, every time this function can do only one thing it can only compare three and four and then tell me which one is greater which obviously we know the answer what if there is a way to use this function for any number any two numbers i give and how would i do that so instead of defining the variable here we will send the variable in the input like that so you decide how to call when at the time of calling this compare you decide what two numbers need to be compared So here, when you say compare, you tell here whether you want to compare 3 and 4 or 3 and 5, 35 and 15, whatever be the number. So you can now reuse the compare function with different input parameters that we are deciding at the time of invoking that function. So that is what gives you the greatest reusability. So let's try this.
So I'm rem removing the breakpoint. Okay, so it is returning values. We are just not using it here. So let's do this. Instead of return, let's say console log. So we don't want to return anything. We just want to write to the log because it's a silly function that we don't seriously care about other than for this demo purpose. So here it is telling me y is greater, x is greater, x is greater. So y at that point, here y is greater, here x is greater, here x is greater. So that is what it is returning. So one other thing I want to mention is whenever you write your function, test for all possible scenarios. We have not tested for the equal. So make sure that all paths are executed. All paths in your code are executed. Let's clear that breakpoint. So it is saying y is greater, x is greater, x and y are equal. So all the different paths that we had are all satisfied. We have tested all the different paths. Okay. So by using input parameters, we are customizing the function. Even though the goal of the function is to compare two numbers, we are not hard coding the numbers inside the function, which would defeat the purpose of using that function. I don't think in real life we'll ever have to like compare the same two numbers over and over and get any reuse out of it. So that is why we use the input parameter. So this is a function that has input parameters. Okay. So did if you saw here, x and y are not already defined. So x and y are already defined when you come here. So please do not say var x and var y one more time. Okay, so don't say that because when you say a var of x and y again, it is going to overwrite, overwrite the input that you're getting. So let's try that var x equal to three, var y equal to five. So if I put this, this will overwrite my input parameter, which is a very bad idea. If you do this, it is going to overwrite your input parameter. Let's test that out. So it is going to return the same value for three and five. See, it's saying y is greater because if you come in here, no matter what your value is, even if you have 35 and 15. So I am putting a breakpoint when x is 35 and y was 15, but they got overwritten. So first time is 3 and 5, so let it go. Second time is 35 and 15, so let's step into the function. See, it came in as 35 and 15, but because we are using the same variable name and overwriting it'll all be gone by now. So X and Y have become three and five again. So which is very bad. So anytime you have your input parameter, do not redefine them. Okay, you don't want to do that. So don't assign any values to them. If you intend on using them, do not assign any values to them. Okay, so this function does not have a return value. This function has a return value okay you don't have to return a value in a function you don't have to have input parameters as shown in this hello we have no input parameters no input parameters no return values that is okay too so if you have input parameters they have to be separated by a comma and you actually have to give them a value when you call that function Okay, so can you have input parameter and return value? Absolutely.